So this podcast is a continuation on, on aches and pains. And people who are vegan or vegetarian, you probably do not want to listen to this. So first of all, aches and pains. They are caused by, they can be caused by congestion. But another thing that factor plays in here is that you often hear elder people, older people saying, I'm falling apart here. And they are quite literally falling apart. So when I started out treating with reflexology, now reflexology is a treatment done through the feet where you work on the feet and theoretically through the uh, system, the, the acupuncture system for example, you're working through meridian lines and you're stimulating different areas of the body. So the body shows up like if you have a congestion in your lung area, you will feel in the lung area of the feet, which is like a map of the body, congestion, like little crunchy bits. And if you feel that, then you know there is congestion in the lungs. And it, it always played out, it always worked. And I assumed it was just through the nervous system and through this, through the meridian system. But at the time, they didn't really know much about the fascia. It's only been in recent years that there's been studies done on the fascia. And the fascia is, it's like a saran wrap that goes around your body from the top of your head and it goes around your body like a, like a big sheet and it's done just underneath the skin and the fat and it holds everything in place. Now what is interesting about fascia, if you stretch up your arm and do this, you will affect the fascia all the way down to your feet. The same if you bang your foot in a certain way, you'll feel it sometimes in your head. It's the fascia that's affected. So if you have a um, tension, a lot of tension in your shoulders, you will be affecting the fascia everywhere in your body. So it, 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 it's, an, it's an incredible. I have been um, working out, uh, doing weight training and um, doing Pilates for the past few years and fascia has really played an important part in how I have done my exercises and Pilates has really helped with this but there's other factors coming to play too. For example, I lift pretty heavy. Um, I deliberately I deadlift 90 kilograms and what was starting to happen about three years ago is I started to get a lot of pain in my joints, in my elbow and in my, I always had knee injuries anyway, but I started having knee, in, knee pain. So I started wearing, when I did my weight training, I started wearing a sleeve on my elbows and sleeves on my knees and that helped, but I didn't. I wanted to see what the problem was. So I started doing a lot of research and Yes, I can do the band-aid and apply the essentials, which is going to help, and it did help. But I then uh, started taking, uh, making my own bone broth, because I heard, okay, fascia is made of collagen, so if I eat collagen, and I started taking collagen supplements, but then I started going, getting really into the bone broth. So you want to deal, if you've got foot pain, you eat pig's feet or cow's hoofs. If you want to deal with skin, there's different types of collagen. If you want to deal with a skin issue or heal your skin, ideally you want to eat the skin of an animal for the best nutrition. And I know vegans don't like to hear this, but this is what's helped me. And I tried to be a vegan many years ago. I tried for a few years and I got sick as the process. So. You know, you have to go with your own truth and deal with that. So I started to, and it did improve. It was a slow improvement, but slowly, uh, now I don't use any sleeves whatsoever. If I have a niggle, then I just make sure I eat another bowl of brown broth soup. Now, another factor is I've also started taking, um, uh, over a year ago now, I also started taking a liquid collagen and that has also helped enormous and upped the game for me. It has allowed me to have the confidence to lift even heavier. So finally now I'm able to lift bench press 40 kilograms, for example. I'm able to fully squat. 
What has also happened is my flexibility in my body has gone through the roof. I am more flexible now than I was when I was 30. Um, and yes, I was pushing myself. I used to do Taekwondo and I would flex, pull myself to try and get myself more flexible. Nothing was happening. It was stiff as a board my body was. I've always been a stiff body type. Um, not like a nice yogi that's all nice and fluidy and everything, but my flexibility has gone through the roof and I'm stronger too, which is the best of both worlds. So being strong and being flexible as well. So that's just a little bit um, looking at where you have your aches and pains is also another way of treating. So first of all, you start by eliminating the processed food. Then you also make sure you poop often enough, not to the point of diarrhea, but that you everything is open. The elimination is open. If you have to do a, a liver cleanse, um, uh, and also I make sure I have enough fat in my diet too. I love ghee. Ghee is used in Ayurvedic medicine as a lymphatic cleanser. You drink, you eat, you cook with ghee, and the ghee inside the body helps open the lymphatic channels, whereas olive oil helps open up the liver, uh, bile ducts, the ghee actually opens the um, lymphatic ducts more and moves the uh, ama, through the body so it absorbs fat absorbs it's fat actually that absorbs the garbage in the system and moves it out not water but fat so fat is a great absorber of ama and toxins to move it through the body if you are vegan i would then go with coconut oil you know coconut oil instead but my experience is ghee is really superior here and of course, mending, repairing, your body needs the nutrition. And unfortunately, I haven't found anything that's vegan yet that will do the repairing quite as much as the collagen or gelatin. And you want the, you know, I mean, I buy the, bra the I buy pork that has been uh, grass fed and uh, not, you know, and bred in a certain way. It doesn't go far to the market, doesn't go far to be killed and I cook the bones and the skin and everything for 36 hours in a slow cooker and then I strain it and I'm left with this clear thick 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 product gelatine that I then make into soups that has helped a lot and then of course I take this extra liquid collagen um, I'm not going to name the company but they know who they are and um, I just found it did make it, it added that extra tweak. I'm always looking for an extra thing. You might just be happy with the bone broth. You might be happy just with clearing out processed foods and having more vegetables and fruit. But this is important too. And um, I hope that this helps. And if someone is reducing and then along with your essential oils, they are very powerful tools. They would just break that cycle of pain. So that's what essentials I find help too. So you've got your treatment, you've got your massage, you've got your reflexology, you've got your nutritional aspect, you've got your repairing aspect. Once you've cleaned out the ana out of the body, then you can repair. And then to break the cycle of pain, applying the essential oils on wherever you might have the aches and pains will help to just reduce the inflammation and then your body can get used to not being in pain. So that is a little bit on aches and pains and the using our use of essential oils on them.